Hello world, Wave Time here yet again, bringing to you another episode of EE Power. Now, as you see, this is my new MFSU, and it's storing, well, a lot of energy from those geothermal generators. The problem I'm having is the fact that these are freaking slow. So, what I'm probably going to do is add some more geothermal generators, since they are very efficient, and, hey, why not? I kind of have the budget for it. So let's see, if I go way up here, hopefully we actually have enough geothermal generators. Though I'm actually doubting it, I'm guessing refined iron, right? Yep, hit the nail on the head. But, wait a second, I forgot of one special place that we haven't looked for some iron and copper. Way down in here into our, well our little cave system we got a lot of iron here and why don't we just quickly flip the kill switch it stopped and it looks like everything's functioning orderly we're at level 59 so that's not bad and let's check back here we got 64 lapis but we also got a bunch of iron ore and crystals these crystals I can just put in my fanny pack by doing this and there we go lots of crystals and we can probably make a few more crystals and I do have like tons of crystals on my wall hey look uranium now I'm gonna, not gonna use this uranium right away because they did change the EMC value of it and I don't wanna look like I am cheating I haven't updated yet so even though it will be half a diamond by the end of all of this I don't wanna seem like a filthy cheater so I won't do anything what I will do though is turn this into eternalist fuel for easy storage and we're like one piece of glowstone away from eternal happiness uh, isn't it sweet it's so sweet. Let's just shut up and get going. Resume. Thank you. Come again. And now that we're actually making money from this. Actually, did we make money? Yes, we did make money from this. And eh, not quite yet. Whatever. And I hope that we didn't steal enough of the crystals for it to start going haywire and wanting to kill us all. Because, frankly, that would be unfortunate. Let's just uh, start the macerate. Oh, wait, I don't have macerators yet. That's a shame. But I do have a furnace, so we can take, like, the 34 iron, like a bunch of iron that we have, and some of the copper dust that we have. We can make all of that junk and then get working on our other stuff. Think this is enough iron? Yep, 34 plus more. 34 plus more, isn't that swell? So, making copper, all of this, and we'll continue after all of that mockery is done. Now that we have our geothermal generators, we can plonk them down. Looks like that one is gonna get a bit more lava treatment than the others. And we will then need to bring wires to bring all of the awesome electrical madness from the system. Let's see, we'll need to take this also. We don't need that because it will be attached by here. There we go. And these last four cables will be by here. We don't need this because of this there we go now we will have a lot more geothermal lava stuff taking cells out of here so that we can better the rest of the area eh, not quite at the maximum but ah heck with it let's just throw these in and turn this on and get a lot of the lava from the system so that we can get a bit more love into our well contraption there we go that's a bit more go faster my love go faster 
Activate. I hope it's on. If it's not, I'll be pissed. Okay, while that is going, we can probably start with a few more things to work with. We will need a medium voltage transformer to take the high to high voltage and turn it to medium. Thankfully, it's not excessively high, so eh, that'll work. Oh, this thing is going to have to be moved temporarily over here. Because the voltage line is going to have to come here. And the gold cable will need to go up. Now, i got to figure out. The best way to get the system going is to have... Well, it'll need two transformers, obviously, but do I bring it here, then up here, then here, then go on and onwards, or what? <sighs> High voltage lines cost the most, and they are a royal pain when they're attached. So I could stay away from this area, or I could use the a bit less expensive, but in a way more expensive system like that I'll just be quiet and actually make that transformer before I go see now now we don't have any more there we can take this and this and we'll need two of these one of these and since it'll take a heck of a long time let's do a time lapse and now that we have this, we can finally make our voltage transformer. Now, I'm hoping I'm not going to explodify this, so we'll have to be extra careful. And let's see. Up here. And it looks like that it will work. Okay. So bring the gold wire up here and carve the channel yet again and bring it way over there now I hope I have enough if not I'll need to make a few more though I am running out of golden goodness now I know there is a quite a bit of loss compared to, uh, comparatively to the uh, iron cables but the iron cables are a little shocking so I'm not going to bother with the iron cables and try to bring this to the second transformer and over one ah fudge sickles I'm off by one bloody cable oh my gosh do I have any normal 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 ah thank goodness that was a shocker now, are we getting energy in bat box? Yes, we are. Macerators are starting to run. And hallelujah, praise the Lord, we are actually getting stuff to work. Now, we'll then take like a gold cable to go up here, then to another uh, transformer network. But since those, yeah, I'll probably need to move that. And those are finally working. Restarting. We can get the timer from our inventory on to that. If only there was a way to sort this without being a complete dolt. Timer. There we go. Hallelujah. Set to 12 second intervals. I'm not sure how long it'll be. 10. Let's go with 10. And check what's going on with our MFU. MFSU, we got 2 million. Not bad. So let's actually start this. This is probably going uh, not too fast downwards. So we're actually getting some stuff. And wow, that's taking the scrap very quickly. So I don't know if that's actually enough scrap to get this system continually moving since this is a such a high charge and it's doing its darndest to keep up but at this rate we're going to run out of scrap so what we should do is check our scrap supply see what the heck is happening with it 
we're gonna be done very quickly with that go in here and I guess there aha that might be why since this is getting like 510 EU per tick uh, when you factor in the losses due to that it means that the scrap supply won't be able to handle that much so there must be some sort of ratio to determine the how many um, what is it what's its faces I will need what's its faces being the recyclers now obviously this isn't the magic amount but we might get one iridium plate by the end of this might help that it's not a very close system and we can probably automate it a bit better since all of it's going in one pipe and yeah that's definitely not a fast enough supply so we'll either need a ton more macerators or we can't connect it by this way I'm guessing that it's going to be the former uh, ladder rather because this is going to drain a lot of energy and I think we should actually make our first few of these iridium ores now I'm gonna check if they have an EMC value it's not likely at all that they have an EMC value okay so that was taking scrap at an alarming rate actually if I remember there's like a, there is actually a magic ratio let me get my calculator I think it's a recycler every 17 point whatever tick uh, EU per tick going to the mass fabricator so if we take 510 divide by like 17.3 let's go with that oh my gosh that needs 30 of those recyclers running 24 7 to get the required amount of scrap needed that is a freaking lot you know that that is a freaking lot okay now where is the crystalline bell I think we can finally harvest some crystals that we have growing over here and plant a few more let's see where's the chunk boundary chunk boundary is way past there so let's take this and expand it a bit more since it looks like we can actually harvest a lot of these and then make a few more crystals just from that alone we got 17 so we'll be able to put eight more so seven more ores from this okay if it's if 17.3 is the magic ratio let's try 127 I think that's factoring in the losses 17.3 so I would need seven recyclers going all the time that isn't too bad considering I can actually make that stuff already I have the materials required for that now let's see take this back in here Equis, get more of these to make one more ore and slap them all on this face you already made another wow now I'm not sure why I'm making this many crystals because using them in this area will sap away the aura maybe I can just make the aura in here greater or something and we got all that we got all that and we still got a lot of that awesomeness to go and we still have a tainted area so what was I doing over here probably something stupid anyways let's set down our other machines we're gonna need to probably get another low voltage transformer and set down the machines where I think for conventional uses, meaning we're not using them all the time, we will pl 
place them probably on this wall since recyclers will be going to here. And now that I think of it, I might be able to have this setup go somewhere else. Maybe it can feed from the bottom or something. I have no clue. But this isn't taking any stone, so I'm not going to bother with manipulating that right now since it is going to be a bother. Hmm. So even though I don't have a lot of scrap, I'm guessing that I can just keep that powered for a bit. Maybe go and make EU matter, uh, EU matter just through the uh, normal process, but I don't think that is going to be sufficient. Let's just make a few more of these, get some more scrap until it goes out, then put a line down here to another transformer, and maybe actually put a portal network. I think a portal network would be very good. Let's see. Void bracelet linked to the water network. Wait a second, I can make a void bracelet. I need a eye of non eye of ender, but let's see. Void bracelet using Thomonomicon. Thomic dictionary, let's just keep calling it Thomic Dictionary. Which is probably non existent in my inventory. Huh. <sighs> Thomic Dictionary. Okay, I know I can make it somehow, and it's obviously not capitulating with my demands, so we'll just leave it at that, and we're out of stuff there. For e UU Matter isn't too bad, we're out of scrap though, so let's, yeah, let's collect our thoughts and see what else we can do in the meantime. Okay, to solve my problem with scrap, what I'm going to do is actually modify this so that it's not receiving the original high voltage that I planned. Of course, the infrastructure will be there for the future when I decide to actually uh, use this. So let's uh, take this away right now. <sighs> Let me get through, stupid machine. No, give me that. Thank you. I'll disengage this and put it instead here. Right here. Here. There we go. And bring this over here. So this will still receive the voltage and this will still be able to receive power, but not at as quick of a rate. As you see, it is actually, wait a second, duh, there's no way to limit it, so that's kind of useless. Ah, well, there'd probably be some other way. Maybe just change this so that there's a buffer of an actual, uh, what's its face, the MFSU? Yeah, I can probably just put an MFE there and as a buffer so that the energy will go in here and it'll be limited but that's kind of useless so what we should also do is put a wire over here and also change this area so that we can have some uh, machines let's see let's see we'll need another low voltage transformer obviously and we'll also need all of that um, let's see copper copper wires and it seems like it's thundering that's unfortunate yeah I'm gonna turn off my quarry temporarily okay there's a lot of baddies actually this is a good time to see if my thing is working Yeah, I'm gonna climb in here Turn it off and check. Let's see. Uh, delay 2, 10. Let's put it to 15. I know it probably doesn't need to be this high, but I don't care. I'm not going to take the chance. Ah, there's a spider. Hey, and it's light again. 
that was a very quick thunderstorm. Okay, now let's actually go to the task at hand with um, metering out all of this justice or something like that. We'll want to put, get a bunch of cables, 20. Okay, I'll turn it to 10. You are really hating me. 7. 6. I hate you. So obviously we can't put copper cables down quite yet, so we're going to need to figure out how to get that. Maybe temporarily getting this out so we can put some stuff in our walls. Actually, if we're going to put stuff in our walls, why don't we put it up here? It's simple. We can just walk out of this building. And let me walk out and put one of these a line of cobble or actually smooth stone by the end of this operation here turn it into smooth stone like so and we'll be able to stick some cables into this without having to uh, interfere with the sanctity of that oh, speaking about sanctity there we go, we can put copper cables there, but then we'll need to have the uh, some sort of MFE or something, whatever it's called. So I can have the cable go there. Let's see, where cable will come there. Through this place. And we'll have the low voltage transformer going here. and having that go there so the gold cable will go in there the other cables will go there and we can move this system since it's not needed anymore and fill in the hole quite literally actually so copper cables and we can put a row of machines in fact we can have a whole house of machines by expanding the wall outwards and just putting a lot of these cables it should work so let's actually get some more gold cables since we do have enough gold for that 12 plus two requests of a bunch of rubber and we'll get that and patch in the low voltage transformer now we're probably going to need some timers set to like 200 second intervals to reset these uh, transformers when we're not actually in the vicinity the reason for that is simple in the fact that it doesn't like me so yeah we can do that let's see cable Oops, I actually have too much. Oh well, I guess I can put this in here for other uses so that it's not completely out of the system. And I always insulate my cables. I don't care how much of a loss it is. Rubber is pretty much infinitely renewable, so there's no point whatsoever of not having it connected. Copper, on the other hand, is more annoying to get a hold of, and probably one copper cable is all I can manage right now. So we can hook that up to a macerator and get that working stellarly. Let's see. Get cable now. Oh, thank you. Didn't think that'd work. Cable. Macerator and get me some copper and we can probably put some overclocker upgrades overclocker upgrades are a bit expensive coolant cells will need an extractor and water cells will need water so we can probably have some sort of system to get just a bunch of water from an infinite spring that's not too much of a problem because we can just still use this setup and I'll probably fill these tanks up with a bit more energies 
uh, in the state of lava so that we can fill up this later and there are a lot of discoveries oh offer that might explain it so I'll let those guys run let that run get some copper dust and smelt that dust into here to get more copper and then yip yip hooray let's continue on with other stuff now there isn't much time left in the episode so what I think we're going to do is get a few of those fancy little portals made we'll need arcane steels and other stuff let's see arcane steels will require I think gold and redstone yep so two will do for now and they'll also need um, let's see they'll need magic awesomeness so get this drop you temporarily on the ground since there's not much of a room here so magic essences will need which will require vis crystals and will also need an vaporous crystal I like calling them eris crystals for some reason vaporous crystal so this goes here got the magic essences and then this oops it kinda goes there doesn't it and now we got enough stuff for portals this portal network will pretty much be activated so that I'll be able to quickly connect to different uh, well not networks but the different buildings of this area so let's try this magic and air will allow a portal but since there's no other portal yet it can't really do anything so all we'll need to do is add one more here la 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 now when we go close it won't work yep now it's connected and honestly that looks cool haha -ha. so we can right click it when there's other things on the network but seeing as there's nothing else on the network that's not really an option as of now maybe I'll put another one over there or perhaps having one leading to the basement but I think everything is working optimally so I think what we'll do is put some more machines down and then end the episode this down compressor will have over here even though it's lossy we will eventually have more machines and I think we do have some ore and we also have some furnaces which will kinda of be necessary ah or iron ore kinda of necessary electric furnaces we'll put right here temporarily we might move them later but we got two macerators which will be sufficient to plug all of this in now put this here think that's enough and Presto. Now what we can do is just get a bit more energy and fill this tank up. Obviously it needs more lava to the system. And we got enough lava to get a lot of matter from this. Maybe when we get our first uh, quantum item we can be awesome and merry and everything. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE Power. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. Lag decides to really hate me right now, so I apologize. Wave time. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.